Hey there YouTube, welcome back to the channel. We're going to be covering Nightmare. Nightmare is a DLC for Resident Evil 7 released in the Band Volume 1 DLC pack. The DLC is basically a wave based survival hard game type and you've got to survive a single night. You'll be playing as Clancy and you'll wake up in the basement of the Baker's Mansion. After getting up you'll notice two things on screen. The first is an instruction to survive until dawn and the second is you'll have a bunch of scrap on screen. Scrap is going to be the game's core mechanic that you're going to work around. You're going to use scrap to build items and upgrades that you're going to need to progress through the area and complete this little mini game. Obtaining scrap is also quite simple. You'll have to turn on compactors that can be found around the environment. You can access two of these for free, one in the main room that you wake up in and another in the gun turret or kitchen room. The other two will require the corrosive acid to actually break through but you'll unlock two more compactors and one of them will give you an additional area to kite enemies within. Each wave a multitude of different enemies will spawn and it obviously gets harder as the waves go along. Now there's four different waves I believe you've got to take care of and Jack's going to appear at wave 2 and 4 as a boss fight that you've got to take care of. Jack's fight can be very tedious and difficult and the other thing is as you upgrade your weapons and purchase more ammunition the upgrades and cost to get more ammunition actually increases with each purchase so it doesn't remain the same. So for example your first batch of handgun bullets only takes 50 scrap but your second batch might take 75 scrap and then 90 and so on and so forth. So the game gets harder as the scrap metal becomes less valuable as well as the enemies getting harder as well. Now alternate weapons keep their value at the same price as long as you haven't purchased them so this adds an element of strategy and deciding when to buy things and that's very important. There are also wired trip mines as well as a turret that you can activate and nerve traps on the floor which will also give you an extra edge against the enemies. These obviously cost scrap metal to activate so knowing when to activate them and on which wave is quite important and they will also disappear after a certain amount of usage so they're not infinite. I would honestly advise using the gun turret during wave 2 and 4 when Jack appears to help you eliminate him and the wire traps are also very powerful against the molded and Jack himself. Just remember that these things cost a lot of scrap and they do disappear after extended usage so keep that in mind when using these. Anyway guys I hope you enjoyed the video this is a more informative one to try and help you with Nightmare. Just remember as well after each session of Nightmare you will get a score. Based on your score you will unlock more guns that you can use, more upgrades and other things. After completing it you'll be able to see a full list of the unlocks and each time you do complete it whether you didn't manage to actually survive the entire night you'll be able to probably advance to a higher stage on the next wave because you have unlocked extra items. Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching as always. I hope this was an informative piece of content. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like and a subscribe. And as always guys, just have a beautiful day. Take it easy and peace.